Hey VC, I'm back already, working on that fourth subscriber. Uh, so I got a, I got ten of the best of new purchases. These are, uh, you know, the 180 gram new repressings, uh, some hard to get stuff that you can't afford the originals anymore, and some new stuff, and a couple of that I got back from the UK. So let's start with some Canadian. This is uh, Arcade Fire. Arcade Fire. Um, they actually, their new album came out yesterday, which I have not heard yet. Uh, this was the previous one. This is Reflector. And, uh, yeah, this, this one's pretty good. It's, it's not my favorite, but, um, you know, their first four albums were just completely insane. And, um, this one, um, it's taken me a few listens to get into. I, I still like it. And, um, I'm very happy to have it. I'm curious about the new one that just came out yesterday. I haven't heard good reviews, so anyway, Arcade Fire, still one of the best new bands of the last 10 years. Proud that they're Canadian, and uh, we'll get into this later. Uh, okay, let's go for some Brit stuff. This is uh, Paul Weller's new album. This is uh, Kind of Revolution. Uh, this just came out uh, maybe about a month ago, three weeks ago, and um, I've only listened to it once as well. I mean, it's hard for me to criticize. I, I'm a big Paul Weller fan. I pretty much have everything he's ever done, and um, yeah, this is great. Uh, continues in that same rock, soul, R&B type of vibe. Uh, great songwriting, and uh, definitely a good, great album. So these next two were two that I uh, couldn't find them in Canada, so I ordered them off of Amazon UK. And uh, they're just two essential Brit Rock albums that I have them on CD and I just wanted to get them on vinyl. So the first is uh, Pulp, Different Class. Probably one of the greatest Brit Rock albums of all time. Common People, such a classic, classic song. And, um, yeah, this is a must-have for any record collection. Certainly in the UK, you'd never see a record collection without this baby in it. Not as popular in North America, but I can assure you, Pulp Different Class is a must-have. And um, if, you can, if you can find it in North America, pick it up. And uh, my second pick from the UK was, of course, Blur, Park Life. Again, just such a great album, and what a what a front cover, eh? The Greyhound Racings, and um, of course, Park Life, End of a Century, Girls and Boys, whole thing plays great from start to end. Again, an iconic album in the UK. Never really got what it deserved in North America, but this is fantastic. And then we'll move into um, kind of the '60s psychedelic kind of thing I'm kind of getting into that because like the rest of us you you sort of you find you collect all your favorite albums you get your your 70s classic rock you know you get your 60s essentials you get things you like in the 80s and the 90s and then you sort of have to find that 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 sort of era that drives you and um, I'm kind of getting into this whole psych rock thing and um, I mean the first one's not exactly difficult but I'd still call it psychedelic this is the 50th anniversary reissue of Sgt. Pepper's. Um, I couldn't bring myself to buy the box set. Something like 300 bucks in Canada. So I just got the uh, the double. The only thing I'm a bummed at, I wish the double had it came with the, the redo of Strawberry Fields and Penny Lane, because I'd love to hear that redone. But um, yeah, I mean, this sounds amazing. Um, just couldn't sound better. Still such a fantastic album. It's an uh, album from my childhood. My father loves this album and uh, played it pretty much every weekend of my whole life. But very happy to have this and sounds great. Can't go wrong. Got to have it. Um, this is what I, I heard somebody talking about. And I had one of their songs on The Nuggets, which I should have done that the other way around. But this is uh, 13th Floor Elevators. And... Um, this is a mono reissue, and uh, this is great. I'd never even heard of these guys, 
and um, I love this. This is this is like my new favorite go-to album right now. I mean, I guess the originals go for in good condition, hundreds of dollars. So pretty cool that the they've been reissuing these. And uh, I had a choice of mono or stereo. The mono was about five bucks more, but I thought it's mono. Mono always sounds better, right? So very cool, loving this. And then as I said, the classic um, Nuggets series. This is a remaster of that, um, which of course has like 13 floor elevators. Uh, it has so many things on it. And again, uh, the Electric Prunes, that's my next reissue album that I want to get, Electric Prunes. Um, yeah, there's so many things on here. Some I've heard of before. Um, Chocolate Watch Band, I also really dig them. Um, Naz, I'd heard of them before. And um, yeah, this is great. Just sort of, I wanted something that sort of could get me into more psych bands and introduce more things to me. So I picked this one up. And then I also picked this one up, which was a UK um, psych bands, Insane Times. And uh, this has some great stuff on it too. The Penny Peeps. I love their names of the bands. They were so creative. Uh, or they were so high, one of the two. Um, and again, there's someone here I've heard, obviously the Yardbirds, the Hollies are on here, but yeah. So those are two I picked up. Um, I think this was a record store day special that came out last year. So I think that's my first record store day purchase. So there you go. Insane times, sort of fitting for today, no? And my last two are uh, another one I heard on somebody I can't sorry I can't remember who recommended but someone recommended this King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard oh my god I researched these guys they're from Australia I think from Melbourne and uh, they're like a modern psych rock band this is an insane album I love this this is one of my favorite things I've heard in the last little while and uh, couldn't recommend this enough uh, Highlights are Gamma Knife and People Vultures. And both those songs have videos on YouTube and I could not recommend watching them more. Uh, check out King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. <laughs> Fantastic. And the last one is, um, it's really good. I totally was surprised because his previous solo work hasn't been that amazing. There's been a few songs here and there. And um, I I watched, I found quite a few of this on YouTube. And I was like, give it a chance. Like, let me see. But I got to say, there's four or five songs that I got into immediately. And I don't have to do like the big review because there's already been a dozen people on uh, the vinyl community that have reviewed this. But uh, the new Roger Waters. This is the most Pink Floyd sounding album I've heard in many, many years. This is, I've heard people compare this to Animals. Uh, so there you go. And this plays amazingly well. I've noticed he's uh, from his set list from his tour right now. He's starting to drop four or five of the songs into the tour. So it's obviously catching on. And um, this is a great album in my opinion, by far his best solo album. And um, yeah, highly, highly recommend it if you're a Pink Floyd fan. And um, definite must. So yeah, so that's my, um, that's my 10 recent new purchases, either new albums or re-releases on vinyl. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So again, happy Saturday. One more cheers. And uh, enjoy your Sunday tomorrow, Sunday Vinyl Day.